you know, I don't, I don't talk about my, my earlier stories as much as I used to, but I think uh, a lot of people here in the District of Columbia uh, come from situations where they didn't have everything they needed. So many young people have to deal with, with less. Yeah. And you have to figure out how to get what you need because the situations, the schools, the environment, the parents, they don't, they don't have it all either. Hello everybody, welcome to Voices War 7. I'm Dev Myers. And I'm Erwin Royster. And we are here with Valerio Johnson. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm really doing well. That's good. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. Okay. Well, first question, you know, we do this with everybody. Um, who is Valerio Johnson? Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Man, that that is a good question. Uh, ooh. I think I lead with being a dad, man. Like that's that's probably the the best title for mm -hmm. me that I'm most proud of, uh, a father. And um, I guess the next title, native, we gotta we gotta run with that. You know, if you're from here, you know, with all all that's going on in D.C., gotta be proud to be here as a native Washingtonian. Um, some labels I I hear myself. Uh, Strategist, maybe okay. uh, mm. community leader. Um, I'm also proud of being a Christian. You know, I go to Peace yeah. Bay Avenue Baptist Church, and uh, that's that's a big deal for me too. Yeah. That's good. So that's a couple good. things. Okay. Yeah. So Valeria, we we we're gonna talk about um, we, we're gonna go back a few years and talk about Valerio as the kind of youth development officer. Or well, the dreads that guy. Uh, possibly so. We, 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 yeah, yeah. We can. <laughs> I don't have no hair. <laughs> Did the dress do that? <laughs> I think so. It thinned, it thinned out a little bit. Yeah. But you know, Valerio, you're known for so much. I remember Valerio as a uh, youth development officer. Then yeah. I remember Valerio as the Ward 7 Dems leader. Yeah. I remember Valerio as the yeah. Ward 7 nonprofit consortium person. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You, yeah. yeah, you know me. Yeah. You so those me. are all the faces of Valerio. Yeah. And here recently, and I would say, if I'm going to guess it right, the last eight years, a father. Yeah, that's... that's Is that pretty accurate? That's my claim to fame right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that claim to fame. But that, look how you've, yeah. you've, you've, you've come a long way. Yeah. And, and doing all of that. Yeah. Tell us some of the experiences, a little bit about the experiences leading up to that. And and you can start any way you want to. And I'm kind of kind of direct you either toward dad or before dad. So yeah. just go ahead and do it. Well, you know, Irwin, when I met you, we was working with youth. And uh, I was a high school teacher. I was the 7 through 12 social studies. And mm -hmm. um, at that time, I had, I had my uh, apartment on Minnesota Avenue behind O'Connor's Liquor Store. Oh wow! Uh, and my first school here was Anacostia, um, and that's where people found me. It's like, oh, he's someone who's young and he's teaching, and he can get us young people. Mm -hmm. At that time, everybody wanted young people, not real young people, but students. Right. Um, and um, I think that's kind of how I sort of got involved. And I had a I had a story at the time that people uh, gravitated to, and I felt really comfortable working with. Uh, a lot of the students that people didn't necessarily want to work with because I identified with them, you know. So when we did the work in Ben and Terrace, exactly in the circle, you know, that wasn't for everybody. But we made it, we made it fun and we made it enjoyable, and and the kids was really excited with the work that we were doing. So um, that's one of the, the finer moments, the happier moments for me um, before politics. Oh, really? Yeah. That was pre-politics. Pre-politics, okay. man. It was just good work and enjoyable work. You know, well, you know, children. You, you say that, Valerio, but when you were president of the Dems, I do remember you kind of getting youth on board. Um, you, you were definitely doing an outreach to youth. Yeah, they used time. me for that, too, because Lee Wilson, um, the... You know, I, I got involved in uh, D.C. Democratic politics uh, as, as a precinct captain in 111, which was St. Saint, Saint Xavier, and I was really cool with knocking on doors and organizing young people. And that's how we saw the, the, the War 7 Dems, working with Lee Wilson, 
is how we started the chapter at H.D. Woodson. That's how we found Tyrell. Oh, okay. he, was a, he was a chapter president at H.D. Woodson for the War 7 Democrats. And that was like 2005 or 2004. Yeah. That's amazing. And, and yeah. I remember distinctly the, and, 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 and I'm hoping that we continue with the Lorraine Whitlock dinners. Last one was 2015. 2015. We raised, we raised $15,000. Yvette was the last chair. Uh, I chaired one 2008. That was uh, it then. That was the that was the hallmark. Well, that was the hallmark. Uh, I'm a, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I know they they're trying to do another one. But that we had like 400 people show up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mary Brown and she, we had the uh, War Seven. Uh, what was the steel the band? Clips, the steel band. Desi. It was all youthed out, right? It yeah. was all children, all students. Um, we gave out full scholarships. Yes. You know, so we raised a lot of money for that one. Yeah, it was it was exciting. Mary decorated the the wall mm-hmm. and had everybody do the bricks with the values and the aspirations on them. Yeah, that was that was really awesome. Lee trusted me with that one. I was successful, but it was it was tough. But I did it. Got okay. It done. Yeah. So are you still involved with the Dem still? I think so. Okay. I'm Let's... a precinct captain in Hillcrest. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm a precinct captain in Hillcrest, which is one thirteen. Uh, on the Vice President, President of the Association over there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm involved in it. I'm supportive of the local party. Okay. Um, my last big thing in the party was working on Senator Walnock's campaign in Georgia. I, I saw that. On the runoff. Yeah, so okay. that was really exciting. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to take you back to Lorraine Whitlock Dinners. One thing my request is, <laughs> is that the Dems, again, yeah. do the Lorraine Whitlock Dinner. They are. If it's not, okay, good. If it's yeah, not going to be are. in St. Luke's, it can still be at the uh, Chateau. Not the, no, we not did the at the Guy You Dead. The last one in 2015 was at Guy You Dead. Okay, they also the did. Center. Okay, yeah. and they also did one down at the um, at the Navy Yard. We did one year at the Navy Yard. Okay, you sure? A positive, positive. It yes, was, it wasn't the Civic Association one, the big citywide city. C- citizen so we did a Lorraine Whitlock dinner. Correct. At the, the Navy, Navy yard. yard. That's correct. I remember. You know where exactly in the Navy Yard? I it know was, what you're talking about. Yeah, we yeah. used to do events there, but I, I don't know. I, I remember <laughs> that very distinctly, and I remember uh, Juan was a part of it. I can name the people that were Maybe a part like of 2004 it. or 5? <clears throat> no, this was in 2010, 11. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do it was down work. there. It was wonderful. And you know, one thing I can say, I, I'm going to even shift a little bit and talk to us about your involvement with the Ward 7 Nonprofit Consortium. Was that the Ward 7? You remember that? I remember that very well. Jeez. Yeah, and and the reason why I remember it so well, because you, I think it was Curtis, and I think it was Morris Red. Yeah, Morris Red. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And so those same folks were at that Lorraine Whitlock dinner. Yeah. Because Morris was at uh, Idea Public Charter School. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was exciting, too. Um, My graduate... Studies is in uh, succession planning and organizational leadership. So at that time, it was like 2006 or seven. I was in grad school, um, and I was just excited. And um, we we were able to get some money from the city council back then. It was a little easier getting earmarks, uh, and we got probably like three hundred thousand dollars to bring all these nonprofits together. And I think it was. Maybe like twenty five million dollars worth of annual resources coming into Ward Seven uh, through these nonprofits, and that's how I really got, you know, close with me. Okay, that's this is where they had the office on Minnesota Avenue. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. It was. You know, you've been around a lot, so yeah. <laughs> but you know, and that was good because you guys engaged Chuck Bean from the larger office. Chuck was my guy. Chuck knew yeah. the region. He knew the region. He knew the players. I learned a lot from him. Yeah. Wow. And so now we, we, we left there. We uh, Valerio is now a dad. Or what, what what happened in between the nonprofit consortium and now? Um, well, you know what? I, and, and forgive me, I can tell you. Um, you became affiliated with the Pennsylvania Avenue Baptist Church. I became public. Oh, okay. I became public. I got baptized January twenty seventh, two thousand eight, and I invited everybody out. And I remember Kendra Curry, uh, Pastor Curry, was telling me. Uh, I said, don't, don't, I don't want to like come. I just wanted a private baptism. He was like, no, that's not how baptisms work. You know, you got to profess your, your faith publicly. So I was like, yeah, okay. So me, I overdo everything. So <laughs> I told everybody to show up. Then people came and it was like, wow, it was a big deal. Um, I think uh, I went 
to work with Nathan Saunders. I ran that campaign okay. of the Washington Teachers Union, okay. and then uh, I did I did work for teachers, okay. helping teachers keep their job. We had that biggest grievance. It was like six hundred teachers filed a grievance because the system had just like pushed all these teachers out. And uh, it was it We was remember terrible. that. That was an it administration. Was okay. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I left the city to go to law school and then I became a dad. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Daddy uh, Johnson. The Man, DJ. I mean, that's the most transformative experience. And I, anybody who's going to be a parent, like I don't want to make it just about dads, right? But okay. Anybody who's going to be a parent, it's, it's just, you're responsible. Like, it's a whole nother mm-hmm. level of responsibility. It's like a life. You're, you're contributing something to society, to humanity. And you don't want to be responsible for creating and raising something that's going to go terrorize the world, right? You want to be responsible yeah. for creating and raising the next Barack Obama or, you know, mm-hmm. whoever, right? You want to do that. Um, so... It, it's been a challenge. It's been, it's been, it's not an ideal situation, but I'm there, and I've been there. Yeah, so we can, we we can see. I'm, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Little BJ is just wonderful. He he's 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 full of energy. Full of energy. Yeah, yeah, and he's wonderful to be around. So I, I like bragging on him. You know, he's going into his uh, first full year, first tee. He's going into his third year as a PGA junior. Oh wow! Um, yeah, he loves golf. Man. Uh, so I'm assuming is this at Langston? Well, so his PGA, PGA, his PGA Juniors membership is at Andrews. Okay. Um, but um, his first tee was at Langston. I moved him to Henson Creek. Okay. Um, because I wanted him to have a different experience at a different golf, uh, a different golf course. Okay. Yeah, so I move him around, you know. He likes it. He likes it? Okay. Likes it. That's I good. like beating on him, you know. But he beats on the kids pretty bad. <laughs> You know, he beats some of the kids pretty bad, but I'm going to try to just teach him how to be competitive. You know, I, I beat him up at Tic Tac Toe yesterday really bad. Yeah. Well, 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 that's you good. You didn't give him no, you know, you didn't. He won the first one by accident. Oh, oh by accident. I didn't give it you to him. He was really competitive with it. Yeah. I, you know what? I don't think we, um, I grew up in a time where you had to win. Mm. You know, I felt, you know, you recess or. Field day, you gotta you gotta rip it. Like you had to earn. You didn't get a you 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 could play a whole year in the sport and get nothing, right? That's you true. didn't you didn't oh here's a participation award thing. No, you got nothing. You you even compete, you win or you okay. just on a team, you know? Mm-hmm. So I want I wanna I wanna put that in him. He don't like losing. And I like that. That's good, yeah. 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 All right. And like where so where did you like Build that philosophy from winning. Yeah, just winning. From losing. Gotcha. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about that. Um, what do you mean by that? I th- I think if you know I don't I don't talk about my my earlier stories as much as I used to, but I think uh, a lot of people here in the District of Columbia uh, come from situations where they didn't have everything they needed. Mm-hmm. Uh, Erwin, you know, you work with these young people. Mm-hmm. And that's how we and you and I connect. So many young people have to deal with, with less. Yeah. And you have to figure out how to get what you need because the situations, the schools, the environment, your parents, they don't, right. they don't have it all either. Um, so getting what you need to be successful is a thing or you're not going to be successful. And people reward you when you work hard and, and when you do good things and when you and you try um, and, and nothing beats a failure but a try and you never fail if you keep trying and eventually you win and then you 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 learn how to win and then you just keep winning you know you yeah. just keep trying to win all the time you, you take some L's here and there but I like winning I like competing everybody knows that about me <laughs> So what else is there to Valerio Johnson? You just talked to us about a lot of things. Is there anything else? What's the next chapter? You're you're a dad right now. What's the next chapter? Uh, Well, this school, this school, all right. So uh, since I am uh, uh, 
Uh, Eastern? Are you talking about Eastern? No. Uh, Elliot? A shameful plug here. We are doing, uh, we're trying to organize in, in, in South of Massachusetts Avenue. Uh, okay. I don't want to say Hillcrest. I'm trying to think and brand that differently because people, it, it's more than one neighborhood over there. Okay. It's not just Hillcrest. It's Penn Branch, right. DuPont Park, okay. Randall Highlands, Fairfax Village, Naylor Gardens, right? It's nine neighborhoods over there. Um, and we just had a meeting on Saturday uh, with a uh, council member, uh, the deputy mayor, mayor, uh, mayor for education, um, and uh, the director of DPR. Um, and Hillcrest will be getting a recreation center, but we also are trying to put a middle school. We want that middle school back. They used to have Winston Educational Campus on Erie Street. Oh. Uh, it's been closed since 2014. So that's, that's probably where I would put all my energy next. Okay. Yeah. And you said a, a, a recreation center for, for Hillcrest? Yeah. Do, with a, with do, a pool. Oh, okay. With a pool. Yeah, with a pool. Okay. pool. I'm a swimmer, too. Y'all don't know that. But yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I okay. swim every morning. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mr. Johnson, we, we, we thank you for this time. Yeah. To, to get to know you a little better. Yeah. And thank for you. folks to I understand. Feel like I, I feel like I, we know each other. We do. Yeah. I want everybody else to know Valerio oh, yeah, Johnson. Yeah. Who is Valerio?